I just want to read a few verses tonight from Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. And these verses are going to be concerning our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The two of them working in unison. I want to begin by reading Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. The Bible says in verse 1 that Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Returned from Jordan. And was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Jesus Christ was full of the Holy Ghost. And led by the Spirit of the living God into the wilderness. I want to skip to verse 14. I want to bypass what happened in the wilderness and focus on his going out and his coming back. Verse 14 says that Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. He was led out by the Spirit or driven out by the Spirit, full of the Holy Ghost, and then he returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. Verse 16, And he came to Nazareth, where had, he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. Here we have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Ghost, driven by the Spirit into the wilderness and returning in the power of the Spirit to Galilee and back to his hometown of Nazareth where he grew up and here we have him standing in the synagogue the word of God God incarnate in the flesh standing in a synagogue in Nazareth Verse 17, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Someone came to the word. A man came to the word as he stood in that synagogue full of the Holy Ghost. And handed him the book of Isaiah to read. He didn't preach. He read. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Is there somebody out there tonight who desires to be full of the Holy Spirit, to be full of the Holy Ghost, to be driven by the Spirit, to return in the power of the Spirit. Is there someone who desires that? What do you want to do when you're filled with the Spirit? What do you think you'll be doing when you're filled with the Spirit? What did Jesus do when he was filled with the Spirit? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Some people want the Spirit so they can speak in other languages and other tongues. Some people want the Spirit that they can do miracles and signs and wonders. 
Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Are you spirit filled tonight? Do you desire to be spirit filled tonight? To do what? Do you desire to be among the poor? Do you desire to be a gospel preacher? Do you desire to evangelize, to witness, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ so that all men may see it and be drawn to him and be saved and be delivered? Is that what you desire? He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Are you preaching the gospel to the poor tonight? Are you filled with the spirit tonight? He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Surgery can't heal a broken heart. Medication can't heal a broken heart. Only a man or a woman that is operating under the anointing of the Holy Spirit can heal the broken hearted. You want to heal the broken hearted tonight? To preach deliverance to the captives, preaching again. To who? The captives. Preaching deliverance, not prosperity. Not healing, not long life. Not blessing upon blessing. Deliverance to the captive. The people in your neighborhood that are under captivity. To alcohol, to drugs, to gambling, to pornography. To excesses of the flesh. You want the spirit upon you, do you? To do what? You gonna go and speak to those people? The recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are bruised. The blind, the bruised, the broken hearted, and the poor. Is that who you want to be ministering to tonight? like Jesus did. Verse 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Preaching again. Preaching the gospel to the poor. Preaching deliverance to the captives. And preaching the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus was a preacher. A preacher of the gospel. A preacher of deliverance. And a preacher of of the acceptable year of the Lord. You want the spirit of the living God to be upon you tonight to do what? To do what? And to do it where and to whom? You need to read Luke's Gospel chapter 4 and check your heart. Verse 20. And he closed the book and gave it back to the minister. To the minister. The word gave the book of Isaiah back to the minister. And he sat down. And the eyes of all them in the synagogue were fastened upon him. Where's your eyes fastened tonight? Where are your eyes fixed on tonight? Who are you looking at tonight? Who are you following tonight? What are the desires of your heart tonight? God knows. Pray that Almighty God will anoint you and empower you with his Holy Spirit to preach the gospel to the poor, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind, to heal the brokenhearted, and to speak the acceptable year of our Lord. The time is now. Be blessed tonight, whoever you are. Hope this has lifted you, moved you, challenged you, provoked you, stirred you up. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.